Hey guys, a couple of weeks ago I broke a knife. The knife in question is uh, Enzo Black Beaver. It is a rat tail knife. Um, a friend of mine, VS Wind Walker, made the handle for it. It was uh, made to look antique. For that he used uh, bone and I think walnut root. Very beautiful handle. Now, I wanted to keep the knife as a carving knife. And I took the secondary bevel off, converted it into a two bevel grind. And before I put the last touches on it, you know, really clean up all the remaining scratches and put a nice polish on it, I said, I'm going to test it. Uh, for two reasons. Even though I was going to keep it as a carving knife, I know that with a four millimeter thick spine, I would have batoned it at some point. And um, the second reason was there was a crack running along the spine of the knife. I'm going to attach pictures and also the video material after this introduction. So I said, better now. I took a piece of willow which had about the same diameter as the blade length. So I couldn't split through it. What I did was took slivers off to make it into a more manageable piece that I could split and you know, make a bow drill kit or carve a spoon. Willow is great for both. And um, as I kept taking slivers off, at some point I hit the blade and it's just snapped. Not the blade, the handle. I would have been surprised if the blade would have snapped because I didn't hit it that hard. I was even more surprised that the handle snapped. Um, it was kind of like uh, like with my K-Bar Large Heavy Bowie. It just shattered. No deformation, no anything, just shattered. Now, it happened right where bone met uh, wood on the handle. I, upon that, just took my Mora Clipper. A very old Mora Clipper. I got this from a friend. It was in his toolbox, very dull and full of rust. I cleaned it up and I used it as a dirt knife ever since. I took this knife and I really batoned it very, very hard. I think it's much easier to call abuse what I did to the Mora than it is what I did to the Enzo Black Beaver. <laughs> Nothing happened to the Mora. So, I did this because I don't think that rat tang knives are a bad choice. If uh, steel is not, does not receive the proper heat treatment, then something will happen. It will break, it will bend, it won't perform like it should. But Mora, Clipper, I don't know from when it was rusted, now it's working. It's a very good knife. Uh, did a job that the black beaver couldn't, which is uh, twice as thick. I am a firm believer that you should test your gear before you take it out. Now some people I know are going to say um, you should not baton a knife. Um, I know that, sort of, but I think you should baton a knife. So we can agree to disagree on that. Some people will say buy an axe. I have one. And some people will say my favorite. A knife is a knife. It's not an axe. Which stating the obvious always, you know, really hits home. But I'm not posting that this video for those people. I'm posting it for the others. The ones who test their gear and like to abuse it and prefer having it break on them. Uh... When they have another knife around you know not taking your big knife on a three-day camping trip in the mountains want to split a log and it breaks I'm much happier when it happens right here so if you have any comments or questions please ask them and I will get to them as fast as possible um, I hope you enjoy the video and I'd like to thank you all for watching